Ubisoft mentorship program developed at Ubisoft discriminates against males based on their sex. Oh, Gray, what have you heard about this? Uh, yeah, there's going to be a developer training program. But if you're a male, you're automatically ineligible, which is, yeah. I, I, I keep reading, I'll, I'll say it again. It's like, I think management, like particularly the fa- the members in the family are doing this on purpose. Because like, so they can buy the shares at a lower price. That, that, that's what I, they can't keep taking L after L consecutively without like backing off and realizing what they're doing. I, I think, I'm starting to believe the conspiracy theory that they're doing it on purpose. Yeah, man. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, an, an Ubisoft mentorship program titled Develop at Ubisoft appears to discriminate based on one's sex. So uh, let's go and go down right over here. So this is right. Uh, can I zoom, and zoom in a little bit more? This is pretty small text. Nope, I didn't do anything. Okay. It says, at Ubisoft, we want to build the most creative, diverse, and inclusive teams. And that's exactly what Develop at Ubisoft is all about. Empowering and supporting underrepresented genders. There are too many male in the gaming industry, right? <laughs> there isn't enough females and there isn't enough non-binary people. The program provides mentorship opportunities for women and non-binary individuals, students, or fresh graduates within, uh, with at least two years of experience interested in video games to develop their skill set in game design and programming. We want to empower you to learn, grow, and become the very best developer that you can be. So here's what's going to happen. A lot of people are going to, a lot of men are going to start identifying as women and identifying as non-binary because this happened before. I believe there was a, a sort of like a job convention or, or something like that that happened. And it says that this is for female and non-binary people and people who identify as female. I believe 80%, 60 to 80% of the people who went were all actual biologically uh, male. But they just identified as females because they want the jobs. So this is what's going to happen, right? Yeah. You're going to discriminate against men. Men is going to use this against you, right? Yeah. So I, I, be- I believe there's a screenshot in X. I forgot who tweeted it. Like the mentorship program like 10 years ago, like the picture was J- Jade Raymond in the center and the program now, it's all, it's all women's buys and, you, you know, you know, the like. Yeah, it's like it, it's the same picture with Jade Raymond in it. Jade Raymond's like the creator of one of the key creators of the of Assassin's Creed in general. So yeah, yeah. Now, now here's the thing: uh, in California, which is where Ubisoft is located, this is discrimination. This is this is uh, like okay, I I, I like I just JK just said it too. It, this is illegal here in California because you are discriminating. This okay? Yeah, it's not a job. Right, but it's a program that leads to a job. Is because most of the time when you qualify and they select you to become a part of a mentorship program, after your mentorship program, they immediately bring you on. It's because you are basically groomed, you know, for lack of a better term, groomed by Ubisoft, so you can work there. Yeah. So this is actually illegal, right? Imagine Gray working for a company that says we are only. Uh, this program provides mentorship opportunities for men and straight males, individuals only. Imagine how bad that would sound. Yep. Right? So this is actual mm-hmm. discrimination against men. It's on their LinkedIn page. Yeah. This mentorship program is accessible to aspiring t- talents in multiple countries, including Canada, China, France, Germany, India, Italy, Vietnam, and the USA. Join us at Develop at Ubisoft and embark on a transformative journey toward more uh, a diverse and inclusive future for the gaming industry. The gaming industry is plenty diverse. When they say they want to be more diverse, they're saying they don't want white guys. Straight white guys. That's what they don't want. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. But man, that, that that's crappy, man. Yo, what's going on, X Wing? How's it going, man? Hope Hello. you're doing well. Howdy, X Wing. Hope you're doing well, man. But yeah, dude. It's a, if the above introductory paragraph was not enough evidence that Ubisoft is discriminating based on sex for this develop at Ubisoft program, the company's website makes it clear though one must identify as a woman or a non-binary individual. Right over here. 
eligibility criteria, you must identify or uh, as a woman or non-binary. So you can identify. You don't, you don't have to have a uh, vagina be a part of this, right? Go, I'm just going to go in. I'm going to say, I'm here for the develop at Ubisoft mentorship program. Um, and they're like, you're here for that? It's like, yeah. I, yeah I, 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 I identify as a woman. And uh, I'm having my period right now. Oh, I'm holding, a, I'm basically holding a ketchup packet. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. It's right here. This is my period blood. Yeah, I'm on my period. Also, can you put tampons in the men's restroom? Just in case, because, you know, um, I think it's bigoted if you don't have that in the men's restroom, you know, just in case, you know, some people are identifying differently. But yeah, uh, uh, I, I'm a woman. Yeah. It's like, are they going to say otherwise? No, they can't. It's because it's California. It's because it's woke shit. They're not going to say anything. They're just going to hire me on the spot. It's like, I, I also identify as uh, trans uh, racial. I'm actually uh, a black man. And, uh, and the thing is that I'm a woman, but I, my, I, my, my, my three inch, two inch penis identifies as an eight inch penis. So, uh, yeah, uh, you got to hire me or, uh, you know, you're discriminating against me. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to say <laughs> a bunch of garbage so they can hire me. Yeah, man. That's insane, dude. 18 years currently attend or have graduated, high, uh, graduated after spring of 2023, have less than two years of professional experience in game design or programming in video games. Be legally uh, entitled to work in a country where you are applying. Apply to uh, only one location. Submit an individual entry. Team entries will not be considered. Must reside in... Uh, so basically, this is also in uh, Canada as well. In Ontario or Toronto. But yeah, man. This is crazy, dude. Absolutely illegal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely illegal, man. But, uh, but yeah, man. Uh, now, here, here's the thing. Great. Let's see if your dream job... And they're like, we are hiring, you know, we're going we're gonna to offer $250,000 uh, US, and, uh, but it's only uh, to, uh, you know, Filipino woman. Or if you identify as a Fili Filipino woman, would you apply for that job just to like fuck with them? Nah, probably not. It's like, I'll probably wait for it. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I, I don't want to like burn bridges either, even though they're kind of wrong. It's it's a wake up call for me. That's a, that's a red flag. Okay, I don't think I want to work for this company if they're advocating for something like this. Because yeah, it's like I I I used to be that person. Like whenever I graduated from uh, college, like that bright eyed naive person. But then I reality quickly slapped me in the face when I got in. Like how much shit that's going on with these companies. So mm -hmm. I'm not that same person anymore. It's like if you see something really off with like the initial HR interview, the job description. Yeah, it j just go find some more, go find another job that's more tailor fit to what you want. And that will, you know, other things like compensation and other stuff like that. Yeah, man. And the thing is that like they're like the gaming industry is trying to unionize. Like you're going to lose so much. Like a lot of people are going to get fired. Oh yeah. man. Like I, I, you, you I want to see the useless people get fired, right? The thing is that they, these companies, they purposely create the DEI department and they pay the DEI, you know, you know, freaking like $250,000 for, for this dumb position that's made up. It's so stupid, man. But yeah, uh, this is absolutely illegal. I hope uh, they, uh, Ubisoft gets, um, gets sued for this or um, uh, at least tell them to take this shit down. Is because this is geared towards um, interns and graduates, so people who are in college, right? And it's like, oh, uh, I'm gonna work there and it's be fine. And then all of a sudden, you know, like, I, I guarantee you, like, like the HR department and the hiring manager, they all go into a room, and then they see all the potential like applicants, and all of them, they're like straight white men. It's like, oh, I, I identify as a, as a black woman, <laughs> you know, it's just like <laughs> that. It's it's not gonna it's it's not gonna work out like how they think it will, but yeah, man, it, I I think this is really funny. Yeah, can this kind of stuff happen in the Philippines? Nah, not not happening. Because like, uh, the thing is, there's just uh the problem with the Philippines is unemployment. So there are a lot of really good talented people, but the opportunities are just not available, or they're very stringent when it comes to the requirements. So 
they don't have like the luxury of going do going this route of like oh you must identify as blah 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 and yep you have to be woke as fuck when most of the people don't even know what that is like I, they have to go through a lot of mental gymnastics to know what woke is Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.